guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna finally get over my laziness. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this stupid thing. We're gonna put this dang tranny, this dang tranny in the vet. Okay, so the camera freaked out and so I lost basically all my footage, but all this stuff for moving is pretty self-explanatory. Bolt there, bolt there, two bolts there for the shocks. This little thing you just has to unscrew at the top. That's down there. Two bolts on the back back here for the brakes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This emergency brake right there. You just have to push on those little tabs. Boop, and then it slides out. And then of course a couple of electrical cords. Pretty straightforward and easy. So now, um, in order to get the tranny down, I'm gonna have to take off the exhaust. So upon further inspection, I think I found that uh, I got an exhaust leak. There's a big old crack right there, so that's going to have to get welded. Okay, so the bolts are off of the Borla exhaust. That is free. So now there's just one little mount up there with two bolts. All right. Exhaust is off, so it still has the cats, but those have to come off as well. So let's fire it up right now, hear what it sounds like, cats only. So my wife just texted me and said that I woke up to baby <laughs> and that she's a little mad at me. So sorry, Radley. I uh, I had to check and see what that sounded like without an exhaust. <laughs> sorry. Well, shiz. So I was prying on these bolts, getting these brackets on those. And do you see bare metal there? Yeah, that's because uh, I freaking sheared the bolt off. Gosh dang it. <laughs> freaking hell. The next one sheared off too. Oh, ball sack. <laughs> I'm gonna record this third one so you can watch me break this one too. <laughs> some, uh, we got some high quality bolts here. <laughs> All three. <laughs> okay, we got the cats off. Got the O2 sensors dangling. Uh, these freaking springs over here. These were so freaking annoying. I got frustrated, so I just ended up cutting those. Um, might regret that later, but we'll find out. So those bolts are for sure sheared off, and I'm going to need new ones. Bummer. Um, all right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's see what this freaking car sounds like with open headers. Hey guys, so I've been burning the midnight oil and I didn't really take you along for the adventure because it was kind of hard to film and to uh, take a transmission out at the same time. But check this out. But we got her out. Transmission is out of the car. So it only took like a whole bunch of bolts, some swear words, and other stuff. And it's time for me to go to bed. I think it's like 12 o'clock, so I'm going to go to bed now. Is that it? Yeah, well, let me get in here and I'll show the bolts. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so yesterday's working on the Corvette was a humongous pain in the butt. So check this out. These bolts would not come off and we tried everything that we could think of to get these freaking things off. Ooh, hi there wifey with the delicious drink. We tried 
everything we could think of to get these stupid bolts off. But they were just stripped as heck. Nothing would fit them and nothing would break them loose. So we literally had to take a little die cutter and cut a notch into them to get these suckers off. And that ha <laughs> Yeah, which was Claire's idea, by the way. Um, so it was a giant pain in the butt. So these threads over here have a slice in them. But I think that bolt, that that's still usable. <laughs> We're going to run it. So we've got the transmission bolted up into place. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's just a couple of bolts up there that need to be tightened down. And then it's a bunch of simple stuff like we got to connect those brake lines. All right. So we have the transmission and subframe connected. All four of these big bolts are bolted up. I think the biggest pain in the butt for the reattaching the transmission was this shift linkage. And that was simply because I put that bolt way up there so it didn't work so i had to connect it and drop it back down uh but that was really the biggest pain in the butt so now it's time to fill the tranny up with fluid but um <laughs> i don't really want to do that with open headers because you have to have the car running in order to get the right amount of fluid in there so i need to figure out how to get these rusted on sheared bolts off all right so because of this little washer thing uh, a wrench won't fit in there so I guess what I'm gonna have to do is use this little uh, die grinder okay so I made little notches in that one and now this 15 will fit on there nice and tight so now I'm gonna crank oh that is so frozen I'm gonna need a breaker bar where's you your cool what? where's your cool guy stuff Hayden <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so to get those bolts out, first I started cutting them off so that I could actually get the wrench on there. But then I just ended up using vice grips and uh, got those off. But then with these bolts, we just had to find some that would thread in right here on all three of these. And so those are just three mix-match bolts. This one I stripped out, so we've got a small one in there with a bolt in the nut. And then the other, the two stock bolts that actually worked are working. So now, the Borla exhaust. This Borla exhaust, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a crack in that whole part. And that's not good, so we're gonna weld it. Okay, so I've got some bad news. <laughs> so we got everything into the car. It's completely installed, and we go to start it up, makes crazy noise and I call my buddy, who is actually more a mechanic than I am, because I am not a mechanic. I'm just some dude that can watch YouTube. And I did a dumb thing. And that is that I used the old torque converter that was still in the car. See that? That is the torque converter that came with the new transmission. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> so, um... That transmission's got to come out. I'm going to do two transmission pulls by the end of this video. All right, a couple hours of work, and it's about ready to come out for the second time. So there, there is the old torque converter. There's this nifty little cover thing. Pops off. And then there, three bolts that connect that. All right, old torque converter is off. That was a freaking stuck on there, three bolts. So while I'm down here, I was looking at this fuel filter and it's freaking leaking. It's leaking gas, that's, a, that's not good. That's, I, I really don't want to light the Corvette on fire. 
All right, so here's the old filter, and it was it was definitely leaking. So new one, nice. Ooh, nice and shiny, and clean and gray, and hopefully it actually holds. <laughs> Doesn't leak. All right, new fuel filters in, clicked into place. Seems to be good. I don't think that's gonna be leaking anytime soon. Now time for the old torque converter. Okay, so we've got the old torque converter in. Well, I guess the new one. This is the old one. New one's in there. Threw some uh, fluid in it and All right, so the Corvette transmission is in, and I'm about to start it up and see what the heck happens, see if uh, if, I, if it worked or if it didn't work. So here we go. Okay, so started out good, making still kind of a weird noise. So I am not going to put it in drive or anything like that till I know it for sure it's got enough tranny fluid. Big boy bolt needs a big boy wrench. It's very empty. Nope. So, I might have some more bad news. Put it all the way in first. Nothing. And I may have dicked up the tranny on my first install because I tried to shove this spline in harder than I should have. Um, it wasn't lining up very well, and so I just got some bolts that touched and then screwed them on and then forced them on through screws. And behind this is a pump that is not meant, is not supposed to go in and out like that. So I may have dicked up the bump. So yeah, now, now we might have to pull the tranny again either get it rebuilt or take the pump out of this old one put it in that one and maybe then it'll be fixed if you enjoyed this video please don't forget like and subscribe because I'm broke obviously otherwise I wouldn't be dealing with crappy transmissions and every like every subscribe goes a long way um, now that we're actually making you know a hundred bucks on YouTube <laughs> so like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for the help, guys.